Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna have a look at this sound. So yeah, kind of reminds me of the droid sounds that you can hear in Star in the Star Wars movies. Um, so um, basically, we are going to create that from scratch, and for that, we're going to use Serum, our trusty old workhorse of a synth, if you ask me. And um, for starters, we're going to edit the wavetable. So click the little pencil icon over here and just draw a straight line like this or you can also do init silence then grab the ramp up shape and draw two lines like this and normalize it this will give a way table resulting in a sawtooth but with less lows as you can hear and now we are going to take a wavetable I'm just going to activate so it runs through the filter the oscillator B but I'm going to choose a wavetable with a lot of movement inside of it so let's find something like this maybe will be perfect and if we press the little folder icon over here by the LFOs we can send that frame to LFO the wavetable frame to LFO so we get this weird shape and we're going to map that to the oscillator pitch and we're going to increase the modulation depth over here and for our oscillator B again, we are going to choose another wavetable for this, and we're going to use the acid one, which I find sounds very good for this type of patch. And we're going to map the same LFO shape to the wavetable position as well. And the same goes for the oscillator pitch uh, for the acid wavetable over here. And we're going to increase the modulation depth. We're not going to set the same mod, as we did on the oscillator A, just a little less uh, modulation over here. And now, without the filter, we got something like this. Sounds like crap. So what we need to do is we need to turn off the BPM sync over here and just dial back the rate. It's going to be a slow moving LFO, this one. So yeah, we're getting there, right? I just need to set the correct octave over here on the oscillator A and also on the oscillator B, I want it to play a perfect fifth above the root. And lastly, we need a bandpass filter. I'm going to use a macro one. And we're basically there. Just some tiny tweaks to, uh, left to be done. And it's the unison on the first oscillator. And in the effects, we can add some hyperdimension. And 
we could perhaps add some reverb maybe. Just turn down the decay and the size for a little bit. Maybe some EQ, get rid of the very highs. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Maybe some chorus. We can... Tweak the rate a little bit. See how it sounds if we turn down the sustain a little bit? Guess it works, but for this... In this case, I'm going to keep it the sustain at max. So yeah, that's how you create like these Star Wars inspired sounds um, or like droid inspired sounds uh, from Star Wars. So hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.